This is my sharing problem. A cookie shop has 2,312 cookies. 17 people come into the cookie shop. Each person wants to get an equal amount of cookies. How many cookies will each person get? The dividend is how many cookies there are. In this equation, the dividend is 2,312. The divisor is how many people you are sharing it with, which is 17 people. The quotient is how many cookies each person will get. This problem is a sharing problem because I did not write the amount of cookies each person will get. In a grouping situation, I would write how many cookies each person will get, but not how many people there are. Here I've drawn a picture for this problem. I've drawn 17 bags. First I'll start with the squares, which is 100. I'll put one square in each one, and if I could not put a square in each one again, I'll move to the triangles, which is 10. I do exactly the same thing, but maybe I can do it more than once, and then I'll do that. And then for the ones, for, for the circles, which is the ones, I'll do the same thing again. And then when I've finished that, I, have, I should have the answer. And then I should be able to check one bag and count, and that should give me the correct answer. But I am not going to solve it using the picture. I'm going to solve it in a way called partial quotients. So, at the top I have 17 times 100, which equals 1,700. Then below it I have 17 times 30, which equals 510. And then below that I have 17 times 5, which equals 85. So the largest number is 1,700. So write that below. Then I'll put a hundred next to it because I know that a hundred seventeens are in that number. Then I'll subtract. Then I'll get 612. 612 is quite close to 510 so I subtract it by 510 and I will also put 30 next to it because there are 30 17s in 510 then I'll subtract again then I get 102 which is quite close to 85 so why don't I add 17 to 85 And that will equal 102, which is exactly what I want. So then I'll put 102 below it. So as I only added 117, it must be 6, so I'll put 6 next to it. Then I will subtract again. I'll get 0, which means that there are no remainders in this problem. Then I will add all of these numbers together and I'll get a hundred and thirty six. So each person will get one hundred and thirty six cookies. That is the end of this problem.